Hi guys, today I'm going to have a video uh, for the fuel pumps again and this is going to be a very interesting situation with this motor it's not the first time to have this problem but it's going to be very interesting for you so this is 8 horsepower Evenroot and the fuel part is going to cover all the motors from 3 horsepower Johnson Evenroot all the way to 40, 50, as long as they have a uh, fuel pump. Um, it may look a little different, but the symptoms are the same and the problems are the same. So, a little history about this motor. Um, it came to me in this condition, whatever you see. It was sitting for a very long time outside. See, the paint is scratched, it's burned from the sun, Arizona sun. Uh, it used to have uh, two problems. One was the CDI and the second was the fuel. In the first part of this video I'm going to cover the fuel part and the second part I'm going to talk for the CDI and I promise you're going to learn a lot and you're going to save a lot of money. Okay, so let's start with the fuel part. Uh, so, all the Johnson and Evan Roots, they have the fuel pump connected to the top cylinder. It's right over here. So this is the crankcase, this is the fuel pump, and it's connected right over here. So when the motor turns, it will create a vacuum here, and it's going to move the diaphragm, this one, the first one. And this is going to create vacuum. It's going to take the fuel from here, and it's going to pump it to the carburetor. In this case, this is the original fuel pump from this motor, and this one is from uh, 15 horsepower. You can attach 15 horsepower fuel pump to this motor without any problems. See this oil from here? So this is showing that something is not okay with this fuel pump. So here is the symptoms. Okay, the motor will start and it will work. It will shake from time to time, it's gonna work better, from time to time it's gonna work worse. It just depends on the situation. Uh, low RPM, it will make get noisy and it will work definitely on one cylinder. In this case, it's gonna be the lower cylinder. The top one, it's gonna receive a lot of fuel because the fuel from the pump is gonna go straight to the crankcase and it's gonna be pumped to the uh, cylinder and it's gonna create a little drop here and the electrodes are gonna be very wet and the spark will not jump in between the electrodes so when you rev the motor when you increase the rpm the motor is gonna ventilate the fuel and the spark plug is gonna get dry over here and it's gonna start creating a spark. In this situation, the motor is gonna work. It's gonna go up and down. Uh, from time to time, it's gonna work better. From time to time, it's gonna get worse. In most cases, everybody is gonna get confused and they will not realize this is a fuel problem. Everybody is gonna start with the spark plug first coils and they're going to realize when they remove the, the spark plug it's a little wet they're going to clean it out and they're going to do a little test to see is there any spark yes they're going to get spark when they clean the spark plug they're going to put it back they're going to start the motor same situation okay now they're going to start changing spark plugs and the motor is still going to have the same problem. Some people will suspect that there is a, a head gasket problem because the spark plug is going to be constantly wet. And they're going to say, eh, do you know what? Maybe the head gasket is bad or something else happened to the motor. To confirm, do you have a bad head, head gasket? You have to do compression tests. When you do the compression test and you have a good results, there is no problem with the head gasket. Um, 
technically the only thing you have to do as long as you figure out what the problem is you have to replace the fuel pump there you go in this engine I have installed brand new 15 horsepower Evan Root or Johnson fuel pump the difference mostly is this the orientation of the connector and see this part is very flat over here this fuel pump has a little uh, extension and it's going to require longer bolts to be able to connect it the bolts for this one are too short to connect this fuel pump now uh, in the end of the video you're gonna see the motor is working in perfect condition without any problems anymore um, if you have any situation that this part plug is getting wet constantly and you have a spark this is your problem the fuel pump the rear there Frank it's bad the front one is still in good condition and it pumps the fuel to the carburetor and the motor is working because is receiving fuel but the bad one uh, let the fuel goes to the crankcase and from the crankcase bypassing the carburetor goes straight to the spark plug and this is your problem so get new fuel pump install it and this is going to fix your issue so the second the second part for this video is going to be uh, for the CDI coils and some other things. This is uh, mostly for models from 1976-78 if I'm not mistaken. This is the first CDI somewhere in the era all the way to these days. Um, okay, this is the end of the first part. It's addition to the first video for the fuel pumps I hope the information is uh, very helpful for you and I hope you like my videos thank you for watching it and have a nice day bye bye